Now, initially, I had a video for you, me and Herm, talking about the game. But due to the fact that my computer, or the restore, completely lost everything, resulted in that not happening. But we're going to be talking about Aaron Rodgers dissing the Detroit Lions on Pat McAfee show. And we're going to talk about Kirby Joseph, defensive player of the week. Freaking love it. But before we get into today's video, if you are not a subscriber, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now. We're about 185 away from hitting the magical 5K. Smash that subscribe button. Let's go ahead and start. The Detroit Lions defeated the Green Bay Packers, and it was a little bit of a shocker to some of the people in the media. Personally, I thought it was a coin flip game. The Lions could do it because the offense and the Green Bay Packers were not that good, really. They weren't looking good, having a lot of injuries, a lot of, uh, you know, talking about rookie wide receivers, and Aaron Rodgers. So Aaron Rodgers went on the Pat McAfee show, and he turned into what we know him as Karen Rodgers. So this is what he had to say on the show yesterday. He says, look, I've thrown touchdown passes many times. I don't give an F what any of these experts on TV have to say. Karen explains, there's a lot of, that goes into these things, and for someone to play armchair quarterback who doesn't even know what the hell play we're running or what's going on, that's fine. I don't give an F to be honest with you. Karen, you love to rip on the players around you. You love to give issues to your wide receivers to say you, and you tell them that we need to reduce their snaps. But Aaron, you played terrible. And you still refuse to hold yourself the account the way that you held everybody else to account. And he continues on. And this is why the video talks about him. Because he talks about the Detroit Lions here. He says, regarding the Detroit Lions, says, I don't think they really stopped us. Really? says Karen, who finished 23 for 43 with one touchdown and three interceptions. We had three possessions in the first half, and we went up and down the field. It was more about us than them. I get it. You guys definitely hurt yourself, shot yourself in the foot, Aaron Rodgers. No doubt about it. But uh, that interception he threw to Aiden Hutchinson, I got to tell you, Aaron, that was absolutely a brutal pass. A terrible pass that hit a helmet. Derek Barnes used in his head, and it bounced. It was just a terrible throw. And you can give credit where credit's due to you, you guys going up and down on the offense, but at the end of the day, it's not about stats and, and yards. You gotta get touchdowns, baby. You gotta get touchdowns. And when the time was there, at the goal line, you weren't doing that. It's an excuse. How about that pass to Kirby Joseph you did? How about that where he jumped up and get it because it's a terrible pass getting hit in a helmet? Terrible pass to Aiden Hutchinson where he just threw it and uh, there was nothing on there. And then the final interception you threw to Kirby Joseph. It don't matter how many yards you get on the field. It takes two to tango. It is, it, it, yes, you let your, your team down. And you did shoot yourself in the foot. But you got to give credit, too, to the defense of the Detroit Lions. You do! You can't just say it's all you. You dissed the Lions now twice. Well, guess what? You lost to the Lions. Yes, you think our team is bad. And look, we're not the greatest team in the world at all. Look, we, we have issues. We all know this. But uh, in the last two games, we've beaten you twice. You're so egotistical. That's why you're disliked by everybody. 
because you think you're better than everybody. It's ridiculous. How about you look at yourself in the mirror? You lost to the Detroit Lions. And it, it, we, we talk about it all the time as Lions fans that we choose ourselves in the foot. It's Lions versus Lions, 100%. 100%. It happens all the time. And you got to show yourself in the foot. But you got to get credit where credit is due. You lost. And it was not just you. It was also the defense making some plays. It is. Kirby got you. Guess what? Jerry Jacobs got you. Aiden got you. Derek Barnes was all over the field. And that had nothing to do with you shooting yourself in the foot. So you got to give credit. Credit's due. Sorry there. Let me know in the comment section what you think of Aaron Rodgers. Give me one word to describe Aaron Rodgers. I love to hear what you guys are going to do on this one. Let me know in the comment section. Give me one word to describe good old Aaron Rodgers. Let's continue with, with some real fun news. And that is our guy, Kirby freaking Joseph. He had a great game. And I was saying, you know what? After that game, is he's not just going to win rookie or defensive rookie week. He's going to win an NFC Defensive Player of the Week. And he did with his performance. Man, oh man. Kirby Joseph did a phenomenal job out there. Wins Defensive Player of the Week, as he should. He becomes the first Lions defender to win the weekly honor since Darius Slay back in 2018. The last Lions rookie to win NFC Defensive Player of the Week. Was Well, nobody. He's the first Lions rookie to ever win NFC Defensive Player of the Week. He's the second Lions player to be given weekly honors for the NFL this season. Amon Ross St. Brown, NFC Offensive Player of the Week in his performance in Week 2. Victory over the Washington Commanders, even beating Indomitian Sioux. So, huge shout-out to our guy, Kirby Joseph, Karen Rogers. That was not just you. It was also Kirby Joseph there. PFF's highest graded at 90.1 among all NFL safeties for the entire week. And the seventh highest among all defensive players. Those are nine weeks this season. Joseph is an 83.0. PFF grades ranked second among amongst NFL safeties. And you know, when it comes to PFF, I'm not going to say he's the second best safety in the NFL and all of that. Look, I look at PFF just like any other statistic as a poll, right? As a political poll. Like if you go to um, in, in, in the, uh, any, any poll website that integrates multiple polls and you have the media in there, that's what I call PFF. Just just put it as a media in there. You know what it does mean? It means Kirby Jeff is, is bowling, and he is. Phenomenal pick by the Detroit Lions. I loved Kirby Joseph way before the draft. He was a ball hawk safety six interceptions in college. I didn't care. Well, he went to this school that's not highly regarded. I don't care. It meant nothing to me when you get a player. I don't look at the helmets. I look at what the player does and he has that instincts and he's a dog and he likes to hit and I love it. Okay, we get him in the third round, a value pick. He was my favorite pick in last year's draft. My favorite pick. This guy got dogged by the media. And I said, just be patient. Each week you want to see him get better and better. And he has. Better, better to where he played as defensive player of the week. We're so fast to criticize rookies. We are so fast. If a rookie does not immediately come in the stage and play great, we got to give these guys time and let them learn. Everybody has a different speed in learning the system. And you're starting to see these rookies start to really make some noise. That's what you like to see. Not just rookies, 
Sometimes it's just even younger players like a Derek Barnes. I don't know if that's an anomaly from Barnes. But give these players some time, folks. Everyone say, you know, Hutchinson a bust. We're seeing sometimes it just takes a little bit of time. And these rooks are looking pretty good. Malcolm Rodriguez. I'm, I I lowered the expectation. Everyone wanted to say this guy is going to be defensive player of the year. Look, I like what he's doing. Great. Good pick, though, in the sixth round. No doubt about it. Look at Aiden Hutchinson. He's having some good games. He, he's he had some misses. It's going to happen. Kirby Joseph, Joshua Pascal. So far, so good. Let's give these these players some time. Give these these young players some time. I give them three years to really develop, and I think that's important that we're we're patient. But it's good to see these guys stepping up for the Detroit Lions because we need young players to step up. In the upcoming videos, we got videos dropping on here all the time. And you will see them with that said, folks. Adios.